Everything from antibiotics to antidepressants are being found in our beef, poultry, and pork. Now a new Consumer Reports investigation is raising serious questions about how the drugs got there and why a federal agency is not doing more about it. Glenda Lewis has a look at how they're sounding the alarm so you don't waste your money. Food scientists at Consumer Reports analyze government data from nearly 6,000 samples of meat collected over an 11-month period from 2015 to 2016. What was explosive is immediately seeing these drugs which were never approved for use in food animals because they're highly hazardous still showing up in the food supply. It was sort of stunning. Drugs like chloramphenicol, an antibiotic linked to potentially deadly anemia, and ketamine, an hallucinogenic party drug, an antidepressant, among others. All of them banned or severely restricted drugs, yet trace amounts have shown up in meat samples, and no one, including the USDA or FDA, seems to know exactly how they're getting into the meat supply. They should have found out why these things are showing up in dozens and dozens of samples of meat and poultry. It can't just be an accident. So why isn't the government doing more about it? The chief scientist for the USDA's Food Safety and Inspection Service tells Consumer Reports that essentially the data were what they call unconfirmed screening tests. So no further action from the USDA was required. <laughs> None of this surprises Will Harris, owner of White Oak Pastures, an organic farm in Georgia. He blames decades of industrialized farming and shoppers' demands for cheap food for why this could be happening. And I'm not accusing anybody of anything, but you told me that these prohibited drugs have been found in samples of meat. And I guess that would be pretty proof positive that somebody somewhere wasn't doing what they're supposed to do. Since it's unclear what, if any, health effects result from eating meat and poultry containing drug residues, Consumer Report says you don't have to eliminate it from your diet, but perhaps think about reducing the amount you eat or making different choices at the market. Consumer Reports says organic and grass-fed meat might contain less drug residue or none at all since there are stricter regulations on those products, although there's not enough information yet to know for sure. Something to think about.